Hi there, so it's Denise back for part two of the um, wired armature for using in a hand tied. So I had to nip out to check the chocolate brownies and I'm so pleased to say we have them all finished and lovely and they've really risen but they look still really gooey in the middle. So they're in three little individual pots, so one for dad, one for father-in-law and oh, one for me. <laughs> No, one for my um, other half, who is a father. So I thought, well, if, you know, the kids haven't bought them anything, they can give them a set of chocolate brownies too. Um, and they can all be nicely individually wrapped to make them look pretty. Anyway, back to the lovely armature. So we got to the point where we created um, a petal shape in there. And then what we need to do is we just start repeating that technique all the way up till we run out of wire. So... Um, what we do next, I'm just moving that out of the way of my eye, is we don't then create another loop with the end two petal, uh, sorry, the end two wires. What we need to do is just move it a fifth and we just take one each. Um, so we still, it's always two wires. So we take one each of the near side each of each petal, okay? And then we do exactly the same thing is and this time it's more of a teardrop shape that we are using um, but again sorry I need to just turn this around so you can see okay so the two wires and one two okay so that's that one there so we move to the next two so we don't use this one that we've just curled we, we move to the next two independent ones and as I say just try and keep them a similar size and shape it's a little bit fiddly especially when you're doing it on video so one two and the next one basically you can you continue this technique until you get right to the end. One, two. And what I'm doing is actually I'm slightly angling this upwards so it's not going to be flat. One, two. So making it a sort of a little bit of a bowl shape because I want to arrange the flowers into it so there's going to be lots of space in this design so already how fab is that and actually what you could do because I've just noticed that that um, has made a fantastic star shape you could stop there and, and you could bind those together and have a star structure which would be amazing for a Christmas um, hand tied bouquet as a gift um, and don't forget if you've got using the decorative um, aluminium wire you could have that gold or silver or metallic or all, all these different metallic colours it comes in so I'm thinking Christmas that is going into my little ideas pot but we'll carry on and I'll just do my final little um, one around and um, it's good just to hear and repeat the technique. One, two. I'll do this really quickly. One, two. So the structure that I made the other night with the rose gold metallic, um, I added lots more um, of the gold, uh, sorry, of the rose gold metallic wire afterwards. Um, did some nice curls and then added and built it up so it was really quite decorative and quite pretty. So, one, two. So, what you can do is you could, um, I'm not going to do it, but you could get a pencil here or a piece of cane and wind that way around and have like a little tendril on each of them. What I'm actually going to do is um, I'm going to finish off just by winding those round almost back on themselves and tuck in them in.
And again, it's quite a nice. Um, Oh my, like a scoop shape. You can make these that are flat. What you would need to do is have even longer wire. But as I said, the whole idea is for them, for this particular one, that you're going to arrange into. And um, I actually want uh, the structure to be part of the design. So there you have, it's like a really strong, it's a really strong structure, which started by a petal so obviously botanically I think it's quite um, lovely that it's actually almost kind of like the inside of a um, you know you get Canterbury bells at a bell shape looks like a little bell like this and then the center looks like a petal so there we have the structure and um, to take it one step further what you could do is you could um, weave things through here so um, Give me a little second. So I've got some really great grasses that we used the other day. So, you know, you could wind these round um, and to, to create even more. Um, now these, I would suggest, because these have been cut a little while, so it's not going to do what I'd hoped it to do actually. So I'm gonna make it lengthways and down the container and then you can have like this collar all the way around and you're just threading so if you wanted to go all the way around i would suggest you do this like condition them overnight in water and then like if you're going to create a collar all the way around the top is that you you do that um straight away while they're still pliable so this is just to show you and you go like when you're weaving over under over under and already they stay perfectly so i have a few flowers for the mother-in-law so what i'm going to do is i'm going to carry on actually weaving some of those grasses around this um armature and then i will do a little design um just a few actually uh, locally purchased flowers for the mother-in-law Hope you enjoyed the structure and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.